All right, I'm Jeff, and behind me is a Toyota, and we're going to shoot it with a 458 SOCOM. 458 SOCOM is one of these. It's a pretty big projectile. It's a uh, extreme penetrating round by Elite Defense, I believe. It has 29.2 grains of H110 behind it. We're going to shoot it right at this car. Interesting thing is, this car is going to be running. Or we'll have a brick on the accelerator pedal, have it go on full RPM when I shoot it. I don't know what's going to happen, but it's bound to be spectacular. All right, so we'll just start off like normal, right? Yeah, you start Give it a full red. Oh shit, battery. Alright, you ready? Alright, river. More shots. All right, what'd you think? All right, so it was a little less catastrophic than I anticipated. I think what actually stopped it running was we hit the distributor. And, well, my scope was uh, zoomed down a little further than I wanted it to be. And I couldn't really see what was going on too much. Let's try to start it. We're going to try to start it up again, see what happens. Hello, everybody. Now, I want to give a little bit of explanation on today's video. I was shooting a 458 Sucon, which is one of these. It was unloaded. I've had this firearm for about two. I do know that I've shot 300 grain projectiles, 350 grain projectiles, 400 grain projectiles. Today we were shooting Lee Defense extreme penetrating projectiles. This is an all brass projectile. These were loaded by myself with 29.2 grains of H110. Today when I was shooting at the vehicle while it was running I had no plan of where I was going to shoot at or what I was going to shoot at. I did know the exhaust manifold was in the front of the engine and I was attempting my best to avoid it but I didn't know what was going to happen when I shot through the radiator. A couple of rounds looked like they hit the the exhaust manifold and didn't do much. Uh, one actually got between it or up underneath it and it penetrated the block. It did not do enough damage to stop the vehicle as you saw it did create some smoke. The third shot is the shot that stopped the vehicle and it wasn't because of any type of penetration to the block. It was due to hitting the distributor. It stopped the vehicle right in its tracks. Now that shot also, it went through the main harness of the engine and made it so that we could not start the vehicle again after we did this. And we wanted to try to start it again and do some more shots. Unfortunately, that wasn't possible. Well, I would love for your comments. Tell me what you thought. Uh, tell me what you liked, what you did not like. Uh, maybe even put a thumbs up on the video. I will have other videos. You can check out some of my other shorter videos that have these two guns up above me in them. They're both 3D printed firearms, both of them AR lowers. One out of PETG and the other one out of ABS. One of them failed, one of them did not. You can check those videos out to figure out which one. As always, or for the first time, I appreciate you watching my video, and if you like, go ahead and subscribe. I hope you have a great day.